So this is an update on the Pioneer theme for Moodle, um, developed right here in Dearborn Public Schools in, in Michigan. And uh, for those of you that are familiar with it, this is the front page when you come in, you log in, um, each page, uh, you know, the, the, the bar is sticky at the top, you have these uh, icons that you can roll over here. Um, these icons are repeated in the center of the page in case you miss them and there's a course search box um, as long as as well as like a text box it has uh, some some options here you can set um, featured um, uh, featured courses and um, as well as the marketing spots it has the my classes drop down so once you're in a course the teacher can actually pick a different image um, we have this uh, course grade slider, so it'll slide down and show the student their grades. A uh, variety of different things. So this is what it currently looks like. And the changes that we're making, and I'm going to go over here, this is what the new home page looks like. You'll notice featured courses now has um, the ability to cycle through. Um, you'll also notice that um, the login has been revamped um, to kind of showcase the picture as well as the navigation bar. You'll notice that once you get to a certain point, the bar becomes sticky and it sticks at the top of the screen. Over here is the marketing spots and let's log in and see what improvements we've made. So you'll notice when you log in, you have uh, front page tabs. These are all customizable. You can put videos and pictures and things from the back end on here. Um, you have a, an, in it, an image at the top and you have the search, uh, the icon navigation as well as the search. Now, when Moodle 3.1 comes out, I do plan on replacing this with the global search. Um, and then so the the main meat of it is uh, we have this new slider so you can feature w a lot more courses and they will show up in a little slider like this um, you have your social icons at the bottom here's your marketing spots um, instead of the marketing spots being separate squares we just kind of blended them into the page with the featured courses at the bottom let's take a look at what a, a course would look like. So here we are in a course. You have your search box up at the top, your your icon navigation. The editing button is now in the the sticky bar at the top, so you can turn editing on at any time. Um, and the breadcrumbs are now located in the center of the page and you can kind of see how that works right here. They just kind of center and uh, build out from here. Here's where you can view all of your course grades. Now this is a very, very big course with a hundred different assignments from the, the course generator. Um, and you can see right here we have um, this course drop down so you can get um, all of your items right from here that are within the course. Um, this is what the social wall course format looks like. Uh, this is, operates very similar to Facebook um, with the discussion forums um, and posts like you see here. Again, this is uh, with the edit button. You can turn editing on, turn editing off. You can jump around into different courses. And as you'll notice, when I go into different courses, you'll notice that the image changes. That is one of the features of the Pioneer theme. And each teacher, when they are setting up their course, they can add an image right here into course summary files. And those appear at the top of the page, as you see here. All of the widths, the heights, all of that is located in the theme settings. So you'll notice under Appearance Pioneer, there's several pages here. Um, you can switch the blocks. So if you don't like them on the right, you can switch them to the left. Um, you can 
add in on the custom login, you can add the create user link, the forgotten password link. Here is the header image height. So you'll notice that there's different states. The front page header image is when you're logged out. So I always make that one a little bit larger. Once you get into the course, you can make it whatever height you want here. We can drop it down and make it real thin up at the top because some people don't like to do a lot of scrolling. So let's make it uh, maybe 80. Um, and then once you're inside the course, it'll drop down to 40 pixels. Um, and uh, here is the toggle. So if, if you don't want to allow teachers to upload their own header image, you simply uncheck that and they will not be able, they will all use whatever image is, is uploaded right here. So here's some different other elements. Here is the featured courses kind of a thing. So let's save this change. And now, as you can see, the blocks are on the left side. Um, and let's go back to the home page. You can see that the top bar is, is quite small now. That's uh, more manageable, not a lot of scrolling. Still looks very nice. And as you can see, when we go from course to course, the images all change. And if they don't upload their own image, they get the default one. So um, once you're, you know, drill into a course and you're in an assignment, this gets very small and um, to save uh, real estate. So this is the Pioneer theme and this is the upcoming release that uh, we are working on. You know, we're, we're, we're building it out, we're testing it, making sure um, we don't notice any uh, issues and we are planning to release this shortly so uh, thank you for watching and if you have any suggestions please leave me a message and thank you for watching